Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Java programming playlist. In this video, we are going to see two very important keywords that is throw and throws in Java programming. So let us first start introducing the keywords with the keyword throw. The throw keyword is used to explicitly throw an exception. So in this previous video, we have seen the exception class and how do we handle the exception. Here we are going to see uh, another method of handling exception that is throw. So throw keyword is used to explicitly throw an exception. So we can throw either checked or unchecked exception using the throw keyword. Only object of throwable class or a subclass can be thrown. So objects that can be thrown should be of subclass or it should be of subclass of a throwable class. Program execution stops on encountering throw statement and the closest catch statement is checked for matching the type exception. That means when we throw an exception, there should be a matching catch statement to catch that exception, whether it is checked or unchecked. If it is a checked exception, then it tries to find the closest matching. If it is an unchecked exception, then the superclass of all the exceptions, that is exception, will have to handle that. Here is the syntax throw and the throwable instance or the object of throwable class. Let us see an example. Here is a class demo throw. So we are demonstrating the throw. Static void demo. There is a method named demo and it is of the type returning type is void and static. Try catch. Try throw new arithmetic exception demo. So what this statement does is first an exception object of arithmetic exception class is created using this new keyword and the name of this exception given is demo method associated with exception is demo and this exception the newly created exception is thrown. So here is this throw keyword. Now this throw will handle by the catch. So catch here it is handling the exception which is arithmetic exception and there is a print statement. In the public static void main what is done is this method throw is called. Now when we compile and execute this program this main will be executed and demo will be called. Now since demo is a static method, we don't need an object of the class to call it. We can directly call this demo because it is static and this main is within this class. So what will happen is this new exception, new arithmetic exception will create an exception and that will be thrown using this keyword throw and it will be handled by this catch and the message will be printed that is exception caught. So now let us see what is the output. So the output is exception caught. The second keyword is throws. The throws keyword is used to declare an exception. If a method does not handle a checked exception, the method must declare it using the throws keyword. The throws keyword appears at end of the method signature. My dear friends, here if we are writing a method and a method inside a method there can be an exception which could be raised. So if we don't want to handle that exception within the method, what we can do is we can say that we can it, this method is throwing the exception outside this method and that is done using the throws keyword and to do that the throws keyword appears at end of the method signature. 
you can declare multiple exceptions in this method we can declare multiple exceptions which could be thrown here is the syntax return type that is the return type of this method method name throws exception class name list so there can be a multiple names of exceptions which could be written and either of them could be thrown from this method let us understand this with an example so here is a method with the name display return type is void and is a static we have made this static just to call this method without using the class object this method throws an exception which is an arithmetic exception system.out.println inside display function so when this method will be called first it will print this line inside display function and then new exception is created of arithmetic exception with a message demo and it will be throw now this throw there since there is no try catch inside this display we have to compulsorily write here this throws arithmetic exception because when we write this whatsoever method calls this display method will be intimated that the method display throws the exception and it should be handled here now we have this public static void main in that we have display and display will throw this exception and this exception will be handled in the main class so in this previous example what we have seen is the exception was handled then and there okay we had a method demo and the try catch was written inside this demo but here when we are using this throws keyword the try catch is written where this display method or the method which is throwing the exception is called so what will happen is it will first print this then it will throw the exception this exception will come here in the main and here this catch should match this exception now let us see what will be the output when this is called so here is the output first it will print inside display function that is there in this display method using the system dot out dot print ln then this exception will be thrown the message here is demo and here it is printing caught and the message associated with this exception so here we can see caught then java dot lang dot arithmetic exception this is the type of exception concatenated with this method demo with this string demo i hope it is clear my dear friends these two keywords are very important when we are handling the exception thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming